This is a transcript of uh, Susan B. Anthony's trial for the charge of illegal voting, which was published right here in Rochester. This is a new acquisition to add to the Isabella Beecher Hooker and John Hooker papers that are here in the Department of Rare Books Special Collections and Preservation. Yes. And what's really special okay. about this collection, it's over 100 letters, but it also includes pamphlets, suffrage petitions, newspapers, all kinds of booklets and documents that really tell a critical story in the suffrage history. This is a letter from Susan B. Anthony to Isabella Beecher Hooker. The bulk of the letters in this part of the collection begin in the, about 1868 and go to about 1880. And that was a really incredible moment within the suffrage movement. And it really places Isabella Beecher Hooker where she belongs, which is very much at the center of this activity. For these letters, just there's a, an intimacy there that you just don't always see. There's a lack of formality, I think, that really is exciting. The letters themselves are almost exclusively political in nature, and they're, they're less personal. And so what we're really seeing is these women as political activists and a little less um, of a split focus between those activities and the home. And that's important for scholars because often that's what they're most interested in. But I can see nothing that I can do. Oh, this is Victoria Woodhull. The world is sick to death of the whole affair. I think the most significant aspect that this part of the collection represents is really the split that happens during this time period. So you have Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton deciding they are going to take a national approach to women's suffrage. And then you have people like Lucy Stone and others who are focusing on more of a state approach. And within these letters, you see that, that they're compelling people like Isabella Beecher Hooker to take sides. And it's very dramatic. Um, you can see that decades long friendships are just being splintered apart by these issues. And I think um, we can really appreciate appreciate what it really took to sustain these relationships over time. And so you can see in one of the letters she's addressed it, my dear sister. That's just a really remarkable salutation to, to see so many years later. The next piece is that we will be digitizing them in, in the coming months. And so we'll be picking a selection to start and making those available just as soon as we can. And then of course the most fun part for, for me is to work with faculty and students and to integrate them into the curriculum.